Hey, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It is your boy Primitive AK here, and we have a plethora of brand new Modern Warfare 3 news for you guys today. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave that like button. We got plenty of content on the way for Modern Warfare 3, starting with content on Thursday. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that, because we will have plenty of content to showcase when the game officially comes out. But let's get right into the new blog that Call of Duty actually just posted regarding Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Mastery Camels. Yes, you heard that correctly. There are going to be some new camels coming out for the MW2 weapons as well so let's go ahead and get right into the first portion of this blog uh first things first they do discuss some of the daily challenges that will be coming to the game this is not really a surprise we have daily challenges in pretty much every call of duty so these will be coming to call of duty starting on the first day of release and leading all the way up and pretty much throughout the life cycle of the game so you'll have daily challenges to complete on top of that they did also reveal there will be weekly challenges uh these are essentially challenges that will unlock you certain items in the game for example they're saying throughout preseason of Modern Warfare 3, you'll actually be able to unlock some of the aftermarket parts inside of uh, Modern Warfare 3 that you can use to customize some of your weapons. And on top of that, uh, if you do complete all of the weekly challenges for the preseason portion of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, you will actually be rewarded with a cosmetic camo. Now, they do say that these challenges will change throughout the life cycle of Modern Warfare 3, so not every season is going to be a brand new camo. It could be something like a brand new calling card or maybe something like an animated emblem or a different calling card. Which don't really know they don't really specify exactly what it is we can expect in the coming seasons but for now for the preseason if you complete all five of the weekly challenges that are going to be presented to us throughout the uh throughout the life cycle of the game you will be rewarded with the golden river camo uh so this is pretty nice to see that we're going to be able to get different rewards and you are actually rewarded for doing some of these weekly challenges because i'm going to be honest with you guys i completely ignored every single one of these things i just never really did them i never saw a point of them and the reward factor for them just was not there but today we do confirm that there is actually going to be a reward for factor for that so i'm actually very happy to see some of that and as i mentioned there's also going to be what's known as Armory Unlock. So starting at level 25, if you hit level 25, which is the base uh, military ranks, not your prestige ranks, um, you're going to get what's known as Armory Unlocks. These are like prestige tokens from previous Call of Duties, except you're getting them in levels, not prestigious. So if you hit level 25 and you hit a certain Armory Unlock tier, you'll actually be able to unlock insert a certain item of your choice a lot earlier. So let's say there's a brand new overpowered assault rifle that is unlocked at level 55 and you're currently level 25 well guess what you could probably use your token to go ahead and unlock that item a lot earlier um, now i'm not entirely sure if that's what you're able to unlock but it does say that you do have an unlock of your choice so i would assume that if you want to unlock a higher level item that is exactly what you'll be able to do in that case so that is actually pretty interesting and i'm excited to see exactly how this works we'll be having a video covering this once i do actually reach that rank so you guys can see that in action Moving on, we're going to be going over to our cosmetic portion of this video, showcasing some of the weapon camos and also what to expect in your camo challenges. So uh, your base camos, these are your base camo challenges. Uh, the camo format is going to be similar, if not exactly the same as Mono Inferno 2's camo challenge uh, situation here. Um, now, as previously stated, uh, they did release the full list well, of like the weapons that are going to be available. If you guys haven't seen that list, I'll link it in the description. But there will be base camel challenges. These are your standard camel challenges, like get 50 kills with the weapon, or get 50 slide kills, or crouch kills, prone kills. Um, and once you do that, you'll unlock the gold tier portion, your mastery camel challenges for that specific weapon set. And for those that are curious, we do have 18 different brand new camo sets to go with these weapons. Um, some confirmed sets include things like Poison Frog, Graphical, uh, Topographic, and Glittery Flats, Retro, uh, and there's plenty more. The list goes on here pretty much. Uh, so moving on for our completionist camos, these are where everybody is very much excited about. Uh, we do have brand new completionist camos for both multiplayer uh modern uh, war, uh pretty much the zombies i don't know exactly what it's called they're calling it nwc but pretty much for zombies and uh mastery camels to go with that as well like moving on as previously mentioned in our <laughs> activision call that we had with the developers 
all camel challenge or all of your camos and the challenges associated with them will be carrying forward over to Modern Warfare 3. This includes your gold camo, the platinum camo, the polyatomic camo, and the Orion camo. I got a new now, one thing I thought was pretty interesting that was actually never confirmed with us previously, they said it wasn't possible when we, when we asked the dev developers about it, is that if you have, let's say, a base camo unlock, such as your solid color camos from Modern Warfare 2, you are actually able to use the those camos on Modern Warfare 3 weapons. Now, you cannot use the Mastery Camel Challenges weapon, or the Mastery Camels on the MW3 weapons from MW2. However, you can use the base camos, such as the pink camo, the solid colors. You can use those on MW3 weapons now. And like I said, they previously told us that wasn't possible, but I guess they may have made some changes recently and now have allowed for that. So that's actually pretty interesting. And I'm actually pretty happy to see that as well. Moving on, the brand new camos that we can expect to see for mastery camo challenges for our MW3 weapons are going to be the following. The Gilded Camo, which is just a fancy name for the Gold Camo. Our Forge Camo, which looks very much like a Platinum Camo, just with more, I guess, oomph to it. Uh, we also have our Priceless Camo, which uh, kind of looks like a Diamond Blue, if I'm being honest. And we also have the Interstellar Camo, which is essentially Orion 2.0. So I'm actually pretty happy to see that. For our Zombies Camos, we have the Golden Ivory Camo, the Spinal Husk, the Arachn Arachnida, and the Bioluminescent, which is actually pretty interesting as well. Uh, and moving on for our Zombies Camos for the MW3 weapons, uh, I forgot to mention the previous Zombie Camos that I'd mentioned were specifically for MW2 weapons only. Uh, so those are the new Camel Challenges that you can unlock for MW2 weapons. Moving on, we also have the MW3 Zombie Camels, which is going to be the Golden Enigma, the Zircon Scale, the Serpentinite, and Borealis. Uh, Serpentinite actually looks the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to check that one out because that one looks really nice. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we've got a lot of crazy looking camels here, and I'm actually really happy to see this one as well. Uh, moving on, they do state that there are going to be specific camo unlocks that you can use for specific yeah. weapons. So if you guys remember in previous Call of Duty games, Modern Warfare 2, for example, almost every single weapon had the uh, same camo challenge of, right for example, get 50 kills with the uh, M4. You know, every single weapon had that exact same challenge, get 50 kills, or sometimes they would change the number around a bit, like get 20 kills, but for the most part, it was the same exact challenge across the board. Now, they do state that some of these challenges will be changing across different weapon types, so that way it actually matches it. So, for example, certain weapons may not require you to get long shots, which, in my opinion, is a good thing, because, to be honest, nobody ever really likes hitting long shots, which is pretty uh, annoying to get, in my opinion. So I'm actually quite happy to see that. Uh, but like I mentioned, no, they do state like once again like that you will not be able to unlock the, the does, Mastery like, Camels on MW2 weapons for the MW3 weapons. So just bear that in mind. Can't use those, but they do carry over, which is pretty nice. In terms of the unlock tiers for leveling up weapons, they do also state this is going to work exactly like Mono Warfare 2, where you would have the four unlock tiers or the four camo tiers of your weapon for the base camos, and you have to level up the weapon to be able to unlock all of those tiers. So nothing's going to be changing with that that's pretty much going to be remaining the same which is pretty much what i i think everybody expected at that point uh which is pretty nice there and they do state there are a total of 140 new base camos 140 new mastery calling cards and emblems four new mastery camos and 37 new mastery charms as well and the same is going to apply for the zombies camels. They do state that there is going to be uh, similar unlock tiers, pretty much to how Mono Warfare 2 was. So we can expect the same format that we see in Mono Warfare 2 multiplayer for Mono Warfare 3 zombies. So I'm actually really excited to see that. But like I said, overall, it's some pretty good changes here. I'm actually really excited to jump in the game and try these camels out. Let me know in the comments box down below what you guys think about this. I am excited to jump in, and I'm really excited to actually go for some zombies camels because I normally don't play zombies but i think i might actually have to go ahead and give it a go this time because it is looking pretty solid but anyways guys thank you guys again for all the love and support i'll leave some screenshots down below so you guys can go ahead and check these bad boys out and i'll catch you guys in the next one it's your boy primitive ak sign it out peace out fellas what are you doing bro it's over. You lost.
GG's 97, I'll take it. Should have had a double though. Yeah. <laughs>